Now that we've got all our fields set up or our columns set up ready to go, we're now going to go ahead and insert our first record into this table. So we want to go ahead and supply the information name, description and created. We don't need to supply the ID because this is auto increment. So when we go ahead and insert our first record, this will automatically become one and that will be the unique identifier for that record. So let's go ahead and look at the syntax to actually insert a record. So we say insert into and then we des uh, describe the table name or give the table name that we want to insert into. In this case, it's articles. Then what we do is we supply the field that we want to insert into in brackets. So in this case, it's name, description, and created. So they're the fields that we want to insert into. Now we use the values keyword, and then in another set of brackets, we define the actual values that we want to insert. Um, and these will be in relation to each other. So the first, um, say, string value I give here will relate to name, the second will relate to description, and the third will cre uh, relate to created. Now, created is a little different. Name and description are both uh, string data, uh, just ones of varchar of max 120 and ones of text, um, which allows for a lot longer longer data. Um, so the first thing that we want to do is go ahead and just insert a uh, name. So um, let's just say working with my SQL. And let's go ahead and give this a description. So this article will cover working with my SQL. And then for the created we're going to use a MySQL function. Now, what this means is um, the, the MySQL function will return a value to us and then go ahead and populate this field based on the return value. So in this case, we use the now um, function. And what this will do is it will just populate the created field, which is a date time, with a current timestamp, which will then translate into a date and time. So now that we've done this, let's go ahead and hit enter. We see query OK one row affected, and we've now inserted data into our database table successfully. What we now need to do, though, is go ahead and look at how we actually select data from our table. And we'll go ahead and look at that in the next video.